Hi everybody, Steve here at Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. And as you can see, this is a Jewish cemetery. And this is one of the most famous Jewish cemeteries in the world, or maybe I should say some of the most famous Jewish people in the world are laid to rest here. Today I'm visiting the final resting place of a former Miss America beauty pageant winner who sadly had a very troubled and scandal-filled life. Her life was filled with lots of highs and lows, but it certainly wasn't boring. Mary Leona Gage was born in Longview, Texas on April 8, 1939, and died in Sherman Oaks, California from a heart attack on October 5, 2010, at the age of 71. In spite of everything, she did live a pretty long life. She was married and divorced six times and also had five children. Her crypt is located in the Court of the Matriarchs, and I've been to the cemetery a few times before, so I'm pretty sure I know where it's located. I'm going to drive through the front gates, and then I'm going to drive straight ahead, and then up the hill to the right toward the back gate, and I believe it's located inside the newer mausoleum on the right-hand side. In 1957, Gage entered and won the Miss Maryland beauty pageant, and then went on to win and be crowned Miss USA. But in one of the biggest scandals of the Miss USA pageant history, she was immediately stripped of her title when it was discovered that she was underage, she was married, and she also had two children. Her Find a Grey Memorial write-up says that by the time she was 14 years old, she had been married twice and had already had a child. The expulsion did make her famous though, and she appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show and in other media stories, and that same year she moved to Las Vegas and became a showgirl. And reportedly, she even briefly dated Frank Sinatra. But this wasn't the end of her story or her last brush with fame. Finding this script was really fast and easy, surprisingly. A little strange, actually a little spooky, <laughs> since I didn't have a GPS, had no idea where I was going. And this mausoleum is huge. And I walked right to her crypt. I mean, I just walked right up to it. I guess she wanted to be found today. In 1960, Gage moved to Hollywood and began appearing in exploitation and horror films such as Tales of Terror and The Scream of the Butterfly. But like so many beautiful young actresses before her, her dreams of fame and fortune in Hollywood came to a dead end, and in 1965, she unsuccessfully attempted to take her own life with an overdose of pills. Her Wikipedia page says that she later wrote an autobiography titled, My Name is Leona Gage, Will somebody please help me? I wasn't able to find any copies of it online, but if any of you have read or remember the book, please share with us in the comments section. I'm glad to see that she's finally resting at peace here in this beautiful mausoleum in one of the most famous cemeteries in the world and that she's still very much remembered. Hopefully that would make her happy to know. Also, for those of you who have asked me to make longer videos, I just want to remind everyone watching that I do have more than 400 videos on this channel to watch. And these are all Graysite videos, so they never get old or go out of date. I do want to give a very big shout out and a thank you to all of you who I know have gone back and watched every single one of my videos. But I know it's not something most viewers do, so I just wanted to remind everyone that I have hours and hours and hours of videos to watch if you're interested in a longer session. Until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.